essence of education is the concentration of mind not the collecting of facts we should develop the power of concentration and detachment and then with a perfect instrument we can collect facts at will this is what is meant by concentration intensifying the power of assimilation thus shortening the time raja yoga is a science which teaches us how to gain the power of concentration so this is what is meant by concentration intensifying the power of assimilation intensifying the power of assimilation the world is ready to give up its secrets if we only know how to knock how to give it the necessary blow the strength and force of the blow come through concentration there is no limit to the power of human mind the more concentrated it is the more power is brought to bear on one point this is the secret concentration is the essence of all knowledge nothing can be done without it the power of concentration is the only key to the treasure house of knowledge when one works with concentration losing all consciousness of oneself the work that is done will be infinitely better this is the base of focus this is the very essence of focus when one works with concentration losing all consciousness of oneself that's the main aspect losing all consciousness of oneself the work that is done will be infinitely better losing all consciousness of oneself very essence of focus welcome our young friends welcome welcome to swami vivekananda ancestral house welcome to youth talk it's all for you all we are all born with infinite level of concentration we do have that we are all like that just 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 try to recollect when we are whether when we were at uh, our junior school and we are playing with our what favorite toy or we are playing with our computer game or video game we used to be entirely engrossed we used to be entirely involved in our game right you all you, we all did it come on we all did it isn't it we used to be entirely involved in that toy in that computer game in that video game what was that our parents saying please have lunch our seniors saying why you are not having dinner why you are not having lunch why are you not talking with any other person why are you not talking but we are in cross we are involved what is was that what was that isn't it concentration so we all did it we all we all not a single person not a single person left we all did the same we all concentrated we all so how can that now we are lacking it no it is not lacking it is we are not focusing at the particular subject or the particular object what we are thinking of we are shifting from our what to say from our objective and thereby we think that we are actually lacking concentration what we think that we are lacking concentration it is not lacking we are not lacking we don't have to improve concentration it's already within us it's already within us we don't have to improve we just have to realize that it's already within us we just have to use whatever power is within us power of concentration extreme power of concentration is actually within us and our great teacher swami vivekananda what he referred what you all have selected his message and he said the difference between ordinary person and extraordinary person it's not a factor of person he meant the difference between ordinary performance and extraordinary performance just depends on the degree of concentration how much i can concentrate it is entirely dependent on that on what aspect our quality of life is dependent just just try to 
just just go through your mind just go through your mind calmly of course without getting agitated it's not required right just calmly concentrate or rather calmly think the quality of our life is entirely dependent on the quality of our experience what sort of experience we are going through okay the quality of our life is dependent on our experience what experience we have gathered in our life now another question our experience is that entirely dependent on event or is entirely dependent on our focus which one it is our experience whatever we are experiencing whether it is dependent on a particular event or on what we are focusing on what we are focusing just 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 take one example suppose any negative event happens suppose we are scoring very poorly in one of the examination and our teacher called us and said see this is your result this is not up to the mark this this is not done you will be thrown out and blah 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 right so this is this is a particular event now i can focus on two aspect of it one aspect criticism he or she is bullying me i can i can concentrate on that or the other way it can be done i am lacking in these areas i need to work out i need to work on in these areas and thereby i will i will perform well so every event actually has got two object to focus the positivity behind it and the negativity each and every event each and every failure and each and every success both both do have that two event that two object positivity and negativity any event do have positivity and negativity in it how how we are focusing on that event actually entirely controls our experience level so many young participants of us said us what will i do i am not having any friend what to do so bad good great that is of course one aspect is bad another aspect brilliant at least you will get so much time to be with oneself unbelievable we are not getting time to be with oneself the best teacher and the best friend is where within us so if we want to recognize him or her what we will have to do we will have to spend time with oneself if i am having plenty of friends if i am always interacting with so many of you then where am i i am not getting time for myself and if i am not getting time for myself then where am i same thing so i am not having that much friends that's a, an event negative aspect is i am not having that much human being around me positive aspect is i am with myself i am getting a brilliant time to spend time with myself see which one i am focusing it's all a factor of focus where i am focusing where i am focusing it's all a factor of focusing now now very important factor how to fix up the focus and how to get the positive impact from any focus the best one the best way is detachment from the result getting detached from the result that is i will not think about the impact and second proper practice 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 and practice and that is what our great teacher said practicing concentration concentration also required to be practiced and the best way to practice it is to focus to focus on the present situation getting detached from the impact of this work suppose any person suppose any person is working on his office project and if that person is thinking okay after if if i am successful in my this project then i'll get 15000 more rupees 
I'll get a promotion. If that is the thing, then what will happen to this project? Who will concentrate on this project? It cannot be done. As simple as that. You all know. You all know, actually. So that is it. Getting detached from the result. Two aspects, very important. Number one, how long we are concentrating and on what subject? On and on what subject? How long and on what subject and on what topic? And how it can be controlled and how it can, how that I can get back into whatever I should or I, I am supposed to concentrate. How it will happen? It can only happen through talking with oneself. Talking with oneself. Now, being mainly film fraternities, just, just, just observe one example, a brilliant example. A film on Milka Singh. One scene, brilliant scene. Milka Singh lost a very important match because of his girlfriend and he was standing in front of a mirror. He was standing in front of a mirror and he is just observing him, staring straight on the mirror and after a few seconds, he started what? slapping himself. Slapping himself, slap, ta, 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 just slapping himself, slapping himself and saying, what the hell? What you have done, Milka? What you have done, Milka? Why you have done this? He was just slapping himself. What is that? What is that? He is talking with himself and he is punishing himself to some extent. That why you have shifted your concentration level. And this thing, this talking, the, the tenacity, this talking tenacity will come from what? From love towards my subject. From love towards my object. And from love, will come passion and that passion will actually help me to concentrate more will that passion will actually help me to get detached from the result to get detached from the impact and in that milka singh film that passion was showed so brilliantly getting my point right that passion was so so brilliantly now another very important question when you are playing a tennis, table tennis match, when you are playing a tennis match, or when, when you are batting, on what actually you are concentrating? Are you concentrating on the player? Are you concentrating on your opponent? Or you are concentrating on the ball? We are concentrating on the ball, not on the players, not on the opponent. If I am thinking, if I am thinking that I am playing with a much higher opponent, then who, how to compete? Who will compete? I am accepting my loss. I am accepting the defeat from the very first again. So what is that? So what is that actually? Where I am focusing? Focus, 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 focus. And if these things are properly maintained, then a situation will come that is the most important situation for any concentration level that is to be in a flow what is that flow is going beyond oneself is moving beyond oneself and what does it mean suppose we are painting or we are or we are uh, uh, involved in a music practice and we are singing or we are painting how many times it happened that when we are doing it full wholeheartedly we are forgetting to have our lunch we are forgetting to have our dinner we are forgetting about our friends we are forgetting about marketing we are forgetting about what clothes we are wearing how many times it happened plenty of times plenty of times it happened isn't it so what is that to be in a flow going moving beyond oneself when we are applying chemicals where we want to concentrate regarding the chemicals because the reaction will take its own course we need to what we need to select the chemicals properly and we need to apply it the reaction of that chemicals will take its own course it will happen naturally so 
the chemicals are those things whatever we have discussed about whatever we have interacted about the chemicals are only those things we need to apply it properly and the impact will take its own course the result will take its own course this is as simple as that unless the mind is controlled and concentrated our mental powers will be frittered away or else our minds will get submerged in tropidity a life of self restraint is imperative to building up mental energy for useful work